What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, we are joining the 5 a.m. club. Now, the 5 a.m. club is basically early bird gets the worm, baby. It helps set a productive and positive swing for the day or mood for the day. And I was like, I love always trying new things. So we will be joining the 5 a.m. club. And who knows, if I like it, we're gonna be in the 5 a.m. club for a long, long time. So I obviously couldn't switch my sleep schedule immediately, right? So right now it is, it's dang near midnight, right? So uh, we that means we only get like five, five-ish hours of shut eye. So see you guys at 5 a.m. We are part, officially part, of the 5 a.m. club. Real quick, let me show you how many alarms I had, bro. Just for the security of the 5 a.m. club. Boom, 457, 459, 5 a.m. Then, yo, I got two phones. I have this one, and then I've got that one. And that one also had four alarms. Oh, man, not gonna lie. It's actually kind of refreshing getting up this freaking early. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Um, although it was only like five-ish hours or whatever, um, very, very refreshing. Because, you know, you're on top of it. It's, you're part of something great, you know what I'm saying? Some of the biggest points of the 5 a.m. club is learning discipline, right? So you're up at 5 a.m. Um, only the 1% is up at this time. And you're doing this because you want to learn a new skill. You're making time to go to the gym. You just want to be up at that 5 a.m. since nobody else is really up at this time. Like I said, the 1%. So far, it feels pretty freaking refreshing, right? Let's get ready for the day, bro. I mean, let's go. I do want to give credit, though, to my alarms. Like... Big credit to Alarm, no joke. Thank you for the Alarms app, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I needed those 10 alarms. <laughs> Yo, look what I'm dealing with, bro. So this is my little sister's room, fun fact. I don't need to get in all the deets, bro. Bro, there's a freaking bear. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> like what, bro? Let's do my morning routine at 5 a.m. My morning routine consists of, you know, just wash my face, brushing my teeth, doing my skincare, which is two steps, and just like becoming visually acceptable for the day. Quick game, uh, for whitening your teeth, I've found this toothpaste, this brand, hello, to be an extremely, extremely amazing teeth whitening toothpaste. So they have the charcoal one, but I do know some people are really sensitive to charcoal. So if you don't like charcoal, they have another one. It's like in a bluish white bottle and it's not charcoal. It's just another toothpaste that focuses strictly on whitening teeth. And I have to say for the price, it's amazing. Now for my two-step skin routine, I'm just doing a facial cleanser and then we're gonna finish off with some moisturizer on that just so the skin can stay moist. Now for our moisturizer, we just want to grab about this much and then spread it all throughout the face. Teeth brushed, skin taken care of, and right now it is time to get our day freaking started, bro. It's 5.36. Let's rock and roll. One big thing I do like to do in the mornings before I get on my phone and all of that is I enjoy reading. That might be a surprise, might not be a surprise. But I really, really do enjoy reading, so I prioritize 20 to 30 minutes a day in the mornings to get some extra knowledge in to read. So that's what we're going to do. So right here, we've got this book. It's called Atomic Habits. So far, it is a 10 out of 10. So we've got 20 to 30 minutes of reading time. Another huge tip, it's like um, be very, very articulate about what you're taking in in the morning, what kind of videos you're watching and things like that. because a lot of the stuff you take in in the morning is something that can really set the tone for the day. So for me, reading is one of the biggest set toners. It gets me ready to have a fantastic day. 
That said, there was about something called the two minute rule. And basically it means like whatever habit you're trying to form, one of the most important things is that first step that lead into the rest of those habits, right? So for example, me, uh, in my case, it could be, you know, throwing on my gym clothes to go to the gym, right? Throwing on the gym clothes is the main thing that gets the rest of those habits going, right? Or for reading, the first and one of the most important habits is knowing exactly what you're going to read. After that first two minutes of deciding or whatever, you're going to be reading that book. Or for journaling, first two minutes, you're just going to grab a piece of paper and a pen and then just get to writing. So it's definitely an interesting rule. Yo, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this 5 a.m. is catching up to me a little bit. Um, it is currently... It's like 6 a.m. ish, but I'm a freaking animal. You know what I'm saying? I need a coffee. We're going to get a coffee soon. However, though, we're just getting started, baby. We are the 5 a.m. club. <laughs> Gotta get pumped, baby. Gotta get pumped. <laughs> sleep, sleep. Gotta get pumped. Shake it out, shake it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like that, guys, we get it pumped. We get it pumped. It is now 7 a.m. Let's get ready to freaking train, baby. It is back day, so we gotta get pumped for the pump. It is a bit chilly outside, but it's okay. We've got some gray shorts for the bottoms. Then we're gonna go this gray tank, and but with this one, you can see the back more. It is back day, right? And then we're gonna do a pump cover of this thick hoodie. Pretty contradicting though, eh? You know, shorts on the bottom, hoodie on the top. I'm full of surprises. Gym fit is a check and it's always a 10 out of 10. So earlier I was saying it was catching up to me, which it was, but now, um, now that we in motion, baby, you know what I'm saying? We in motion feel 10 times better. However though, a coffee would slap. So what are we gonna have for pre-workout? A cool thing. Yo, check the gym fit. Boom. Shadish. It's funny because this is kind of a difference in my schedule. The earliest I usually work out, like, you know, 8 30, 9 o'clock ish. So working out at 7, 7 30 ish is definitely new, but it feels amazing. So depending on your. Bro, they already doing construction, bro. Depending on your daylight hours, like obviously it changes throughout the year. So right now we're on uh, winter time. And so that means the sun like starts coming up at like seven to eight ish. But in like the summer hours, hours where the sun starts to come up at like freaking 6.30. Thank goodness it's not that cold outside right now. So, you know, wearing the shorts, it's valid. I can definitely, definitely see myself joining the 5 a.m. club. So on the reg, 6 a.m. ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can definitely see why the 5 a.m. club is so successful, bro. You know what I'm saying? So far, the 5 a.m. club, it's absolutely amazing, bro. Mad, mad refreshing, yo. And literally, if you had a home gym, bro, that means you up at five and you working out at 5.30, you know, 5.45 after you clean yourself up or whatever. Um, and so that means you're starting your day, bro, by like seven, you know, depending on how you work out, like even 6.45. Um, and to that, and then you have the, like, the rest of the day to optimize whatever you need to do, which is literally amazing. But with that, that means since you're waking up mad early, you know, you also have to change your bedtime a little bit too. So um, I've seen some schedules, bro, where people will go to sleep at like whatever, eight, nine, and wake up at three or 4 a.m. and get their day started then. Homie, homie's beating the freak early bird, bro. They beating the, they, they beating the bird. It really depends on you and what kind of schedule you like. I personally, love a schedule like this you know schedules like these it makes you like you know what i'm saying it pumps you up i suggest trying it you know what i'm saying and although this is my first 5 a.m club you know try i can already tell you it it feels amazing bro 
So far, so good. <laughs> Instead of just straight up, you know, whatever, black coffee or Vienna coffee, whatever, I'm gonna go half coffee, half cappuccino, because I do want some flavor in this coffee. Because, you know, straight up coffee, bro, it'd be hitting, but it's uh, a bit chalky to say. We got it, boy. This thing finna hit. This mug finna hit, boy. All right, so we got that. And we got water because whenever coffee is the first thing I drink throughout the day, I'm not gonna let my digestion be playing with the shades of gray with me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got the water because obviously, guys, in the morning, big tip, and you're getting up or whatever, is try to drink roughly a cup to three or four cups of water before you consume anything else that really gets your digestion going. Bing, 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 right? And get your digestion going, is which is what you need because your digestion is extremely, extremely important. So take great care of it. So we have the water and then we're gonna be drinking the coffee like I said, boy, this is a hit. I did a caramel cappuccino with uh, a Vienna roast. Wee! It's time to get funky, hey, 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 hey. Okay, y'all see these moves? Okay. It's freaking gym time, man. We gotta get pumped. Even more pumped. Up at five. Up at five. That's where the champions are made. We are at the gym now, bro. Uh, it is back day. And you know, we, we aiming for the growth, baby. Bro, literally the coffee hit perfectly like alhamdulillah it hit perfectly dude so the pre-workout is a check now i'm gonna be completely blunt and completely honest about my energy throughout this workout but you guys already know me mike oh, i'm a freaking animal all right we're starting with lap pull downs this is already set number four aiming for gold baby let's go Ooh. 5 a.m club let's go 5 a.m club end the gym at eight mm. 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 Oof, nice. Nice. Form over everything. Form over everything. Mm. Mm. Come on. Mm. Mm. You got five more. Mm. Come on. Always push yourselves to the limit, guys. New standards every day. Uh. Woo! Now we're going reverse grip. Yo, the mood for 5 a.m. is it's high, baby. Let's go. So we're going reverse lat pull down. Reverse grip lat pull downs. This is to really focus on the lats. Squeeze. Good. Add those squeezes into your exercises, y'all. You'll feel so much better. And then when you're coming up, full stretch. Good. Come on. Squeeze. Surprise squeezes. Come on. Woo. Forearms are on fire. All right, y'all. Now we're giving it everything. And I know I saw that. I know I say that every exercise, but we're giving it everything. We're right around 209 for Cable Rose, bro. And I'm going to show you how it's fun. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was a f set. That was a f set, baby. Now we're moving into incline, incline bench, bar dumbbell rows. Golly, all these names, bro. All right, so this is, I don't do this exercise all the time, but it's super helpful when building that upper back. 
So we're here, we're fully open. Our back's fully open, then we're gonna come up and squeeze. Just like that. This is an insane upper back builder. Three sets, 10 to 15 reps. If you're going light, I want 15. If you're going semi-heavy, I want 10, but good form. Form over everything, boys. Let's go. And if you're just a beast, like Uncle Fidel, heavy with 15. Good. Good job, good job. Yo, quick front double, quick front double. But let's check out what this back pump is looking like, bro. I'm really dreadily trying to push my back to become better every single back day. So boom, right there, baby. The back has grown. You know what I'm saying? It is getting pushed. It's getting wider and thicker. So quick flex again. Really trying to get the most out of this pose and squeeze every single back muscle. So it is getting better, thank goodness. And yo, 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 arrow pose, baby, arrow pose. But back day, 10 out of 10. Wow, bro. That was, that was extremely, extremely intense. Freaking loved it, bro. Like it was amazing. Now, maybe because getting up at 5 a.m., I'm a bit more hungrier. Like, like right now, I'm like actually hungry, hungry, and I'm excited for breakfast. That could do with getting up earlier, but that could do with we pushed it harder today. Like, like getting up early and being fasted on top of that crazy workout made it just, whoa. Yo, not even gonna cap that 5 a.m. is hitting. But obviously, like I said, you adjust to it, right? So you're not gonna be going to bed at like, you know, 12 o'clock. If you're up at five, that means maybe 10 or 11. However though, food is the fixer. So here we've got breakfast. We've got six boiled eggs with three egg yolks and potatoes. That is a hefty breakfast. Usually I either will or will not have carbs with my uh, breakfast. But today, since we really pushed the absolute limit, carbs it is. Now it is currently 5.22 p.m. And I would definitely say um, I could use a coffee because since I've been up so early. However, though, we good. We great, baby. But I'm probably going to go get a coffee. Um, I'm trying to order a new coffee machine. I think that would really, really help. But update so far. We good, baby. You know what I'm saying? We good. A little adjustment. A little adjustment, but we grucci. We grucci. <clears throat> That's how you know I've been up. <laughs> but um, uh, 522 update. Um, we are still perfect. We're still A-OK. -okay. But like I said, a coffee would come in handy. For the 5 a.m. club review, throughout the day, it was amazing, you know what I'm saying? I definitely do want to say, though, like you want to have a coffee around if you're getting up that early. But again, it completely matters about what time you're hitting the hay, right? What time you're going to bed. So if you're going to bed at one, waking up at five, you're gonna need some coffee. If you know, if you've adjusted your schedule to like maybe 10 or 11, I think you'd be completely fine for the entire day with no coffee, no nothing. However though, I like literally, literally, it's like a humongous refresher and your boy genuinely, genuinely loves it. So you know what I'm saying? So 5 a.m. club review, 10 out of 10, baby. I absolutely loved it. And literally, if you can like, the way you wanna move your schedule around or whatever, you could like go to the gym first thing in the morning, right? Get to get do whatever you've gotta get done and then you still have tons of time to do extra stuff, you know what I mean? Or you can do, do it however you want, but I'm saying the early bird does get the warm and so, 5 a.m. club review is a 10 out of 10. However though, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's YouTube video. I really, really, really do hope you did enjoy it. If you're new here, give the boy a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're old here, give the boy a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of the video or anything you want, go ahead and leave a comment, baby. I genuinely appreciate it. And quote of the video, ladies and gentlemen, you know we gotta do it, you know we've gotta do it, all right? Quote of the video. Success isn't the result of arrogance, it's the result of belief. Conor McGregor. And that is genuinely an amazing, amazing quote. I just love that quote because, yeah, if you want to be successful in anything, you've got to keep grinding, bro. You've got to keep believing in yourself and you just got to get it done. So that's the quote of the video. Success isn't the result of arrogance, it's the result of belief. Uncannily belief. you got to, you've got to love it. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for today's YouTube video, guys. See you in the next one. Woo!